Hi friends! I'm so happy you're here today because I have a massive unhaul. There's 50 plus books here uh, and I live in a small apartment so 50 plus books that I don't want to read uh, is kind of a big deal I guess. Like I need to get rid of these now. Uh, so some of these books will be on my pingo. Uh, most of them I will be donating to little free libraries so. though. But yeah if you have any questions about a book and you want to buy it um, on pingo, my pingo is always linked. Uh, Actually, it is not always linked. That is a lie. I will definitely link it though in my description box down below. Uh, but let's get right into it. Uh, so I will say why I'm unhauling these for the most part, but some of these you're just going to know by the title. Uh, so the first one is Care and Comfort by Dan Simmons. I really liked this book, but I have two copies. Uh, so I will be getting rid of that copy. Uh, 1984 by George Orwell. I already have a copy of this. The exact same copy. <laughs> so... What are the chances? Uh, Postmortem by Patricia Cornwell. I've uh, read this one. I think I have a couple copies of this one too because I just kept picking them up because the covers are so great. Uh, and I did enjoy this book, but yeah, I don't need to reread um, a procedural police uh, thriller. Uh, Mist of Evil by Patty Briscoe. You guys probably know why I'm getting rid of this one. <laughs> and The Amityville Horror uh, by Jay Anson. This is a non-fiction non -fiction book um, that... I don't know why I still have it. I have the original, but I gave that one to my brother. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of this, um, but I guess I saw it somewhere and picked it up again for some reason. Uh, and then we should all be feminist. Uh, and I'm I'm totally gonna butcher this name, so I won't read it. Uh, this was a great little a little tiny read from a tiny little free library. So we'll be going back there. And yeah, we should all be feminist. Uh, and then I actually have a couple of these books, I believe. Uh, the Throne of Jade and Shadow of the Naomi Novik books. These are dragon books. Um, when I was going through a dragon phase, I was like, I'm going to read all these fantasy books that are dragons and never did. <laughs> so next is six volumes of this fun manga, The Prince Princess Resurrectionist. Uh, this is like a fun horror manga, but I probably won't be rereading it anytime soon. Uh, but it was really cute and fun. It had like some classic universal monster themes in it. Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. Uh, I talked about it in my last video where I read Child of God and then I was like, oh yeah, I tried to read Blood Meridian a couple of times and I just couldn't get into it. Uh, so I don't think he's quite the author for me. So I will be getting rid of my Cormac McCarthy books. I feel like I'm just really hunched over because I lowered everything so you guys can see the stack of books on the table. Um, so I'll, I'll sit up a little bit more properly, I guess, now, because I am in frame. Uh, Slate House by David Mitchell. Um, I have had this for years and years. Um, I don't even remember anything about it, but I will be get rid, I'll be get rid of it. Yep, I can talk. Um, <laughs> the Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. I read this years and years ago. Um, Rebecca by Daphne Moray. This is the Netflix cover one. I believe I have a better cover uh, of Rebecca, so that's why I'm getting rid of that one. Um, Psycho by Robert Blau Blouch. Um, I don't think I'll be rereading this one probably ever. If I do, I'll do the audio. Um, Orange World by Karen Russell. Karen Russell was my favorite author uh, before um, I got into fantasy uh, and horror now, I guess. Uh, like postmodern author, uh, she wrote Swamplandia, which I highly suggest checking out if you're into contemporary fiction. Um, this was a short story collection, very cool, but again, I probably won't ever reread it. The Ark of the Chestnut Man, I will be donating this one. The Hole by Heyo Young Pion. Uh, this is a thriller, and boy oh boy, it is a disturbing thriller. Uh, but again, I don't reread a ton of thrillers, so I probably won't be rereading this one. Jaws. <laughs> I'm just getting rid of Jaws. Let's just say it like that. <laughs> Full Tilt by Neil Shusterman. Uh, I did not care for uh, this book, so that is why I'm getting rid of it. I read it recently on a clown blog, and I gave it two stars. Another Cormac McCarthy book. I don't even know how to say this. Sutri? Sutri? Bye. This is a nonfiction book that I will never read, Brain on Fire by Susan uh, Collinhan, and I butchered the name, I bet. 
Oh, okay, the first stack is done. <laughs> uh, Blood Trail by CJ Box. This is a thriller. I see this author's name everywhere, uh, but I probably just won't get to it ever. Um, here it is. Uh, His Ma Majesty's Dragon, book one. Uh, Tamaray, Tamaray, book one, the dragon book. Jane Eyre by uh, Charlotte Bronte. I was like, who wrote Jane Eyre? Ah! Uh <laughs> Do I read books? Um, I do like Jane Eyre, but um, I don't really like this paperback. American, oops, American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Uh, I do like this book, but I won't be rereading it anytime soon. It's kind of a chunker, so it takes up uh, some space. Okay, On the Farm by Stevie Cameron. I'm getting rid of this one because it's gigantic, first of all. Uh, and I think I ended up doing the audio for this one. I'm not sure if I remember. Um, I used to read a true crime book like once a month, but I kind of stopped. I only listen to true crime podcasts now. I don't read too many um, true crime books. Uh, but yeah, this is a super messed up case. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> the Dry by Jane Harper. Harper. I actually DNF'd this uh, in January. It was just very boring to me. Uh, Joyce Carol Oates, Missing Bomb. Uh, I got this at the thrift store. It still has the stickers on it. I don't think I'm going to read this. If I read a Joyce Carol Oates book, it's going to be probably from her gothic series, honestly. Here's one of the books that, yeah, I don't have to have any explanation why I'm getting rid of it. This is in, on one of my other bookshelves um, in the front of my apartment, The Fountainhead by Anne Ryan. The Anasazi Boys by Neil Gaiman. I read this years ago and I did enjoy it, but again, I probably won't read it anytime soon. And two Ender books, uh, Ender Shadow by Orson Scott Card and then Shadow Puppets. Uh, yeah, I only read Ender's Game. That is it. I will not move on with this series. Alex has actually met him, so he has his copy of Ender's Game signed. Um, yeah, he's not going to reread these either. Glamorama by Brett Easton Ellis. This one has some water damage to it, so I will just be donating it. I'm leaning down again. I feel like a book gremlin. <laughs> Don't feed me after midnight. Uh, Shadow Sands by Robert Brisna. I think I got this from a little free library thinking I would read it like a couple months ago or a year ago. Uh, it shall return there unread. Spooky. Not really. Uh, Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan. This is the 50th anniversary edition and I got this on super sale um, at Barnes & Noble like years ago. It has to have been like three or four years ago. Look at these hot pink edges. I love it. Um, I've seen the movie Valley of the Dolls and it's super depressing. I don't know why I ever thought I would read the book. Just so people know, this doesn't have to do with actual dolls. Uh, you're probably confused, like, why would Katrina get rid of a book about dolls? Uh, no, this is about, this is a contemporary book about, um, like, women getting married and, like, getting addicted to pills and stuff. It's actually very sad. Okay, I have another stack here. Anne Rice's Merrick. Um, I have multiple and multiple copies of Merrick. I think I have like three or four. So there's probably another one in the stack somewhere. Um, Robin Hobbs, uh, Shaman's Crossing. Again, when I was into fantasy and I thought I was going to read all the fantasy in the world, uh, I got this for 45 cents like five years ago. Um, Madame Bouvary. I'm probably <laughs> mispronouncing this. This has some water damage, so I'm just going to donate it. Um, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess. I'm not crazy about this edition. Actually, I've had this edition since high school, I'm pretty sure. It's like not in great condition. Yep, and I wrote in it. Um, I think I had to read this for school. Um, yep, I definitely noted every time somebody said your humble narrator. Tom Wolf by uh, Tom Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Wolf by Tom Wolf. Charlotte Simmons by Tom Wolf. I love Bonfire of the Vanities, but I just don't think I'm going to read Charlotte. Um, I am Charlotte Simmons. Yep. That's <laughs> Tom Wolf by Tom, Tom Wolf. Wow. And Rice's Violin. I've had this forever and a day. I think I've had this for 10 years and I have not read it. So if I'm going to read it, it's going to be audio. Aldous Huxley's Brand New World. I've had this edition since high school as well. It's just time It's just time to like be on the lookout for better editions out there. Same with this one. Ew. Lolita. 
And then a book of the month book, uh, The Space Between the Worlds by Makaya Johnson. Uh, this is a sci-fi book and I don't really read too much sci-fi anymore. Uh, and I've had this one forever too since I started book in a month. Uh, practically like for three years. So I don't think this is going to happen for me. A Deadly Education by Naomi Novak. This is a fantasy dark academia book. Again, I don't read fantasy anymore. I keep thinking I'm going to get back into fantasy and it just hasn't happened yet. Um, Bonds of Vengeance, book three of The Winds of Thorlands by David B. Co. Why would I buy a book three of something if I don't have the other <laughs> two in the series? Because I didn't, I didn't think about it. I just saw the cover and was like, oh, that looks like fantasy. Okay, so we are almost done here. Um, I have Four Your Own Good by Samantha Downing. I read this in January and I did enjoy it, but again, it is a thriller, so I won't be rereading it. And then the last books are the Skyward Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. So I read the first two um, in this trilogy, Starsight and Skyward, and I did really enjoy it. Uh, but Cytonic, I have not read, and I got it two years ago for Christmas or whenever it came out for Christmas. And and um, I just don't think I'm going to read it. I know Kaylee from Kaylee's Books actually gave this three stars. It was her least favorite in the trilogy. So, um, yeah, if she didn't like it, I probably won't like it either. We have similar taste in horror, and she has, like, similar taste in how I liked fantasy and sci-fi and stuff. Um, so there you have it. That was a very quick, hopefully quick, 50-some uh, book on haul. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below, have you read any of these books? Have you unhauled any books lately? And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!